the debt ceiling is the limit on the total amount of money that the federal government can borrow. It's the amount of money that the United States Treasury can borrow in order to pay its bills. Among these obligations are Social Security and Medicare payments, tax refunds, military pay, and interest on the country's debt. Because the limit applies to almost all of the federal debt, it continues to grow. This is due to the fact that the annual budget deficits are paid for by borrowing from the public, whereas trust fund surpluses are invested in treasury bills, simply with the promise that they'll be repaid with interest in the future. Each new debt had to be approved by a separate piece of legislation before Congress could set the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling was set at $11.5 billion by the Second Liberty Bond Act of 1917. This was done to make borrowing easier and to provide more options to the federal government of the United States. Congress established the first aggregate debt limit in 1939 at $45 billion, or about 10% of the total debt at the time. This limit accounted for nearly all of the government's debt. The current limit is around $31.4 trillion. Once hit, the U.S. cannot add to its debt, and it becomes more difficult to pay bills. When the debt limit is reached, the Treasury Department takes, quote, extraordinary measures, end quote, to keep the government from defaulting on its obligations. For example, the Treasury has redeemed Treasury bonds held in the Federal Employee Retirement Savings Accounts, and they do that early, and then replace them with interest-bearing bonds. They stop making payments to some government pension funds. They stop issuing state and local government series securities, and then in turn borrow from funds set aside to deal with changes in exchange rates. The Treasury Department first used these measures in 1985, and they were used six times between May of 2011 and the end of 2021. The United States federal government, like many households, must borrow money to pay its bills. And like many other families, it doesn't earn enough money to cover its expenses. When the federal government's debt reaches the debt ceiling and all other options have been exhausted, it will be unable to issue new debt and then it will run out of cash. Given the annual deficits, the funds received would not be sufficient to pay millions of daily bills, and as they became due, there'd be problems. As a result, the federal government would be forced to stop paying many of its bills, including Social Security payments, federal civilian and military salaries, veteran benefits, and utility bills. Even the threat of a default could be devastating to the economy because both domestic and international markets rely on the relative economic and political stability of the United States debt instruments and the U.S. economy. A genuine default would jolt global financial markets and create chaos. If investors stopped or reduced their investments in Treasury securities because they were no longer considered completely safe, interest rates would rise and demand for Treasuries would fall. This would then increase the likelihood of a default. Even if there's no threat of default, borrowing costs could rise during that type of standoff. The debt ceiling would not be an issue if the amount of tax money collected by the U.S. was greater than the cost of running the country. That's according to the White House Council of Economic Advisors. The U.S. has not had an annual surplus since 2001. Every year since then, the government has had to borrow money to stay afloat. These are interesting things with JC.